Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ask That Podcast on YouTube. Yeah, a little bit sleazy this time. You know, I enjoy the sleaze. What we got here is Mr. Skin Presents Women in Prison. Triple feature. K, Chain Heat, Red Heat, and Jungle Warriors. Now this is a fairly decent little collection. We got, let's see here, three sleazy prison flicks, totally remastered, limited availability. Chain Heat, widely regarded as the greatest women in prison film of all time, fully finally comes to DVD in a totally uncut remastered version. This triple feature collection of boobs behind bars, mid-A's, exploitation classics will only be in print for a limited time. Chain Heat, Linda Blair. The Exorcist stars as Carol Henderson, a woman sentenced to 18 months in federal prison after accidentally killing a man. With a perverted warden, John Vernon, Animal House, seducing animates and two robber gangs fighting a race war, Carol struggles to survive her remaining days in the sleazy slammer. Also stars cult film favorites Sybil Danning, Tamara Dobson, and Stella Stevens. Newly remastered anamorphic widescreen presented totally uncut for the first time in North America. Not rated, blah, 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 blah. Red Heat. This one I actually had seen. I had not seen Chain Heat before this. Linda Blair, Roller Boogie. Okay, Roller Boogie. Heads back to prison as America's as American tourist Christine Carlson, a woman wrongfully sentenced to three years in a brutal East German penitentiary after being forced to admit to false charges of espionage. Tormented by the evil prisoner Sophia, Sylvia Christel, Emmanuel, the... That's the thing. It's according to what movie channels you got. That's the white Emmanuel. I always saw Largims or I always saw the Largims or Emmanuels. Christine must fight for her life as her fiance tries to rescue her from the sadistic hell behind bars. Presented an anamorphic widescreen. And then we have Jungle Warriors. A group of gorgeous models flies to South America to a South American country to scout locations for a photo session. When her plane is shot down, the models are imprisoned and subjected to horrible torture and rape by an evil drug lord. In an effort to escape, the girls grab some firepower, take revenge, and try to shoot their way to freedom. Star Sybil Danning and John Vernon presenting Anamorphic. Okay. Special features. All films remastered in 69 Anamorphic widescreen. That's kind of cool. Uh, intro to each film presented by the legendary Mr. Skin. Mr. Skin? Is he even around anymore? Okay. Chain he's presented uncut for the first time in North America. Video interviews with actress... Stella Stevens, Chaney, and Sybil Danning, Jungle Warriors, Chapter Legend, Theatrical Trailers. This is put out by Panic House. Now, this is probably out of print, but I mean, you can find it. It's, just, it's three di two discs. Chaney gets its own disc and another two. I saw Red Heat, and most people when they hear Red Heat, they think of the Schwarzenegger movie, which I've done the comic adaptation of that. I saw Red Heat late night in the early 90s on Showtime. I've probably told the story before, I'll throw it in again. You know, the area I grew up in, cable just wasn't out there. Part of it was a very rural area. Not a lot of people in houses were far apart. The other part was a good 70% of the people out there all went to this one, like, it was like an offshoot of Assembly of God church where they didn't believe in TV. You couldn't have a TV in your house, the antenna on your roof was the devil's pitchfork beaming in the devil straight to your house. Like the preacher came. To my parents' house when they first moved out there, I was going to welcome the neighborhood and saw the antenna and like drove off. I was like, what the fuck? But instead, they had computer monitors with VCRs attached and just go rent movies. Like, I remember one of the deacons, he had a son about a year or so older than me. I got along with him for a little bit. He had a daughter who was a few years younger than me, three or four years younger than me. Well, I'm waiting. This is, I was in junior high probably, maybe high school. I'm, you know, hanging out with some friends, and she's over there, and she's like, yeah, we were in movies last night. Oh, what'd you rent? We rent a pretty woman. I think, okay, your parents won't let you have TV, but they're going to show me a movie about a hooker. But cable finally came out to the area. Uh, we got it right after Thanksgiving hit in 1990. So, you know, that's late. And the cable wasn't that great. It was like 25 channels for 50 bucks a month. And they had three selections for premium channels. You could get Disney for $10 a month. Showtime for $10 a month or the movie channel for $10 a month. Well, my parents were like, we're going to get a movie channel. So they got Showtime. They thought that was the bigger one. And I'm like, okay, I love movies. So I'm going to pay the 10 bucks for the movie channel so I can see Joe Bob. And on Showtime, late at night, they showed, you know, that's back when they showed like a black, black Emmanuel in the desert or, you know, Emmanuel in Hong Kong or Emmanuel around the world or, you know, the erotic adventures of Zorro and all the Euro sleaze stuff. Well, one night... And I always, I had a VCR, of course. So I decided, you know, one night I'm, a, I'm flipping through the Showtime. I'm like, ooh, Red Heat's airing tonight. I like that. That's a pretty good Schwarzenegger film. 
So it came on at like 2 in the morning. Well, I had to be up the next day for school, so I set my VCR to record it, and it goes off. They say I get home from school, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to watch Red Heat. I put it in. It's a Linda Blair prison flick. I'm like, ooh, titties. So that's what I saw that. Chain Heat, I heard of, never saw this. Jungle Warriors, I never heard of. Now, I've watched Chain Heat and Red Heat each couple of times. Really good women in prison movies. If you're into that genre, really well done. Real Jungle Warriors, eh, kind of sucks. This is a cool little set. This was inexpensive. I mean, I want to say I paid like seven to nine bucks. It was really cheap. Definitely worth it. Worth tracking after you're into the stuff. So, you know, you're into women in prison films. It's a good little you know, three pack here Chain Heat, Red Heat, and Jungle Warriors. Thank you, Mr. Skin. Well, hope y'all enjoyed that. Remember, if you did, give me that thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Excuse me. Talk to everybody later. Bye bye.